Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. This is a general, very quick reading for the remainder of January. I uploaded uh, the new moon in Aquarius. If you haven't watched it, please go back and check that out. And if you like a personal reading with me, my website is in the link below. Wow, we've got the time is now answering the call. I love this card. Yes, it's a time to remember. Yes, it's a time to answer the call for your soul and why you've come to earth. What is your mission? And it's time to remember you're more than that physical body. You've been called. This card is calling you for you to be on the sacred journey that starts with the call. And if you've been feeling it and you know that there's something, you know, is just not the old ways and that there's more to your experience and you are remembering, remembering your past lives, remembering your galactic family, if you've been waiting for your life to turn out, if you've been waiting for your life to start in a new direction, know that the old life, the old self is over and you are now awakening and if you've been asking for a sign, then this is the sign. And it's saying it's time for you to really open a new gateway for communication from the spirit realms and the energy that surrounds it. So spirit is calling you and spirit wants to really have a conversation with you. So meditate and really listen, ask questions, and those questions will be answered. You've got to invite these energies in. And you may not know what the future brings, but you do know that it's now time to act and to move forward in your highest calling. You may really want to sit with that and just answer yourself, who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose? And to go within and to know that spirit is opening a new door for you to walk through. You just got to walk through it and trust, trust the call that you are getting in whatever way. If it's telling you to change your job, if it's telling you in regards to a relationship if it's telling you about <clears throat> what it is that you're to let go of trust it trust that the energies are pure and that they're here to guide you on your journey let's go ahead and give you look at that as i say on your journey look at that so too many cards i'm just going to take but look at this you are definitely, spirit is nudging you and you're going to need the courage and the strength and you have the courage and the strength to really master the ego, the lion, and go from the heart. The lion is a representative courage and it takes strength to really trust that you are being guided by the ebb and flow of right, by the higher self and not to hold back anymore and for you to really know that the universe is nudging you, nudging you from where you were into where the universe is saying it's time it's time for you to answer the call it's time for you to go on this journey this journey is solely for you and this journey is saying I've got you to really trust it it's going into smoother waters it's going where it's not about the ego or the things that you knew but it's using the wisdom of the past and bringing it to where you're meant to go so that nudge that nudge is saying trust me I've got you and it's asking for your trust at this time for the remainder of, <clears throat> of um, what you call it, of, <laughs> what you would call it, a higher view of this month. And we have, look at this, a higher view. Again, that is a beautiful owl. Owl is saying to trust. Again, you're being so guided right now by the universe in answering the call and taking flight in the direction that the universe is asking of you. You've made a contract um, that you're to be at a certain place at a certain time. And right now on a collective level, there's a lot of people that are awakening. So it's like seeing things from a higher perspective. Can you see your life from a higher point of view? If you've been asking, what it, what is it that I'm here to do? If you can look at all your experiences from a higher perspective, then you'll see all that you've experienced. And sometimes our lives you know, they just show us, you know, what needs to end and what needs to happen in order to move into a new direction. So this is that response that the universe is giving you. It's saying, hey, look at things from a higher perspective and you will see why certain events have happened and you're really to see it from a higher point of view. And whatever that you need to, you could let it go. You could let things go, let go of any blames, let go of the obstacles that are in your way. Instead, 
really look at a new path and this new path is so beautiful and this new path is one of a journey it's a new journey it's something you have not been experienced and you're not alone you're riding that you're being lifted up from a situation into a higher version of yourself because it's time for you to remember why you have come and what you have come is to now experience things from a higher perspective instead of one that you have been experiencing so keep bringing yourself to a higher place right you keep wanting to move up move up and then we have reach out and this says i reach out my hand and heart to connect to and unite all of humanity so there's this angel also reaching out to you if you need help if you need help from your guides if you need help from somebody from anybody you can ask for help you're not alone don't feel alone there's so so much guidance here for you there's so much that wants to come and help you but it can't help you if you don't ask and you're seeing the nudge and the wing ones and the owl and this beautiful angel with the orb that is saying just reach out and as you reach out and as you ask for help, the help is here. It's expanding your world by expanding your heart. And it's taking that time to really connect with this higher future, with this higher version of yourself and what it is that you truly want for you. And what the meaning behind that is, is whatever thoughts and things that have come for you to go towards that, there's a reason for it. So follow that path, but follow it knowing that you're being guided and you're not alone. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.